How about them bucks, baby? We will begin today's media availability with Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach Brian Lefwich. Byron. Byron. Byron, there we go. We're waiting for our first question, coach. Okay. First question will come from Michael Donaldson. Hey, coach. Great win. Congratulations tonight. Thank you. Um, going into the game, what was your number one goal on the defensive side to, to shut Mahomes down, shut that high-powered offensive down? What was your guys' number one goal going into that game? To shut Pat Mahomes down? I think you got the wrong guy. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to do with that. That was Todd. That was the <laughs> We will move on to our next question with Mark Canazero. Mark. Hey Byron, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I do have a question actually about Todd and the job he did from you as an off from your offensive standpoint and knowing how powerful Mahomes and that group is. Can you speak to to what you know, what you saw out there on the other side of the ball, and, and the job that Todd did, and that plan that he had. Well, I felt good going into the game just because who he is and the players that we have on defense. Todd's a great coach, so uh, we're a different team than you know this team played early in the year, offensively and defensively. And it's not a shock; it's not a surprise to us. We both felt good about our game plans, and this is the outcome. But it's just Todd, just a great. He knows what he's doing. He's put guys in position, and I'm just happy we was able to pull this out. Next question will come from Nancy Armour of USA Today. Hey, Byron, congratulations. Thank you. Um, two questions for you. First, you've been with uh, BA for so long. What does it mean to, to see him finally get a Super Bowl win? And then the second question is, you all, we, you know, we've talked so much about the diversity that you all have as a staff. Can this maybe finally convince owners to look past <laughs> somebody's color and, and go by achievements? Uh, probably not, but we just felt good. Like, like I told, it was no way we was losing this game. BA having an opportunity to win the Super Bowl as a head coach. We all knew it as assistant coaches. There was no way we was losing this football game. That's how we felt. We had to do what we had to do to find a way to win this football game. And I'm just fortunate enough that we found a way to pull it out I love the way we played as a team. We've been building this thing like this now for a while and it all came together. Just happy for everybody that's involved. Next question will come from Tom Hunsicker of WUSA. Hey Byron, congrats from DC. Did you ever Thank think you. growing up as a kid that you'd one day you know, win a Super Bowl as a player and then win a Super Bowl as a coach? And what's that journey been like for you? I mean, hell no, I never really envisioned myself being 30 years old. <laughs> so let alone being in this position, uh, it was, it's just a unique thing. Uh, I know the city back home going crazy right now. Like I said earlier in the week, I got a lot of support back at home. Just, man, it's just, I came a long way, came a long way to get here. He's excited to have the, to be involved in these type of moments. A lot of help along the way. I'm just appreciative of these moments, man, because they special and unique. Got a 10 year old son that's able to enjoy this moment, have confetti fall down on him. He was able to see us grow from week one to week 20. And is it just special to just have this and to be a part of this? And it's just a unique thing. Next question will come from Frank Schwab. Frank. Hey, Byron, I know you said probably not to Nancy's question about owners looking at, you know, black head coaches and black assistant coaches for head coaching jobs. But do you think, I mean, the job you and Todd did tonight, I, don't you think that's going to open some eyes to, you know, you, him, uh, you know, other guys getting opportunities around the league for head coaching jobs? I mean, if it does, it does, hopefully so. But I just know me and Todd focus was doing what we needed to do to win the football game. Uh, to have this opportunity to have three African-American coordinators on the same team and to find a way to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, it'll open people's eyes, but I can't speak on if it changes anybody's mind or changes any thoughts about the hiring process. Um, all we can do is just coach good football. I know all three of us, me, Todd, Keith, all we're trying to do is help these men grow, be in the best position, be the best football players they can be. 
that's our goal. You know, our goal is to help these players be at their best. And it's special and unique when you can ha have these moments, these moments we can grow. And I still think we're getting better. I think a week from now, we'll be getting better. Two weeks from now, we'll be playing even better football. So it's exciting to uh, get ready to go for next year. I know it just happened, but I'm excited about what we got coming back and what this team has become as it's grown together. Next question will come from Claudia Gestro. Claudia. Byron, congratulations. Uh, would you say your entire defense are MVPs? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To hold that type of team down to as though they don't score a touchdown. I mean, I knew they was going to play well. I didn't know how well they would play. But I just believe in Todd. I believe in the players that we have on defense. I knew it was a good chance that we was coming out of this game being victorious. I, I, we just felt good about going into this game, and we pulled it out. That concludes today's media availability with Coach Lefwich. Thank you very much. Thank you.